Okay, so we're going to do a basic hook sweep from Butterfly Guard to start with the, the different techniques that we're going to do from Butterfly Guard. Again, as always, I make a table out of it. If I take away one limb of the table, that's the way he falls. It falls across the shoulder, kind of taking the weight, the same side that I take the arm away on. And that's an important detail. Okay, and that means that if I hook sweep him straight to the side there, this leg is going to keep on based in exactly the same way as it did on all fours. So, basics with, with a butterfly, then first of all, you want your head closer to him than your hips. And if he's starting to push it towards me, I'm always pushing the hips back and I'm always keeping the head forward. Okay, notice that the next turtle, I don't want to hang the neck out so he starts pillaging. Mm -hmm. But I must keep the head closer. Once you start leaning back, he's just going to push your, mat, your back to the mat and then it's over. Second point of it is, is the angle of the legs, okay? You need 90 degrees or over in your legs. Again, once you start getting crunched up, you become quite weak. And the third thing is, the feet all the time are looking for the backs of his thighs. So anytime he raises a leg, his foot is following the whole time. And that means that when he starts to pass the guard, if he gets a leg pushed down, he starts to pass the guard, that's still always got a hook sweep there. Okay? So from here, what I need to do, is I need to work and for an opening. Now I like a single under, a single overhook. Okay, a single underhook as well is great. A lot of people prefer that. I prefer in this position anyway, a single overhook, because it gives you a lot of options. So from here, as soon as I get a single overhook, look at the angle. Legs are over 90 degrees. I'm keeping the head closer to them. What I don't want them to do is that get head control. Exactly the same as stand up. I want to dominate the head. And I like to put hand down and I like to bump an angle because I've got to take head 45 degrees. Remember, if I take him straight to the side, he can base with this leg. So from here, I'm 45 degrees to him, I'm going to pull this arm in. Okay. His shoulder's coming down towards the mat, and then all I think of now is I just put the shoulder straight in the floor. Okay. So I'm bringing him over his left shoulder. Shoulder goes straight to the floor, it should be as light as that. Then I come to mount. Fighting away, can't get an underhook. I'm fine because I like an overhook. Pull his collar in, and I've got it nice and tight there, which gives me the option to choke, which we'll go for soon. I like to put the hand down and just cut an angle. Now, the problem with it is, is I might not get his arm again, but that doesn't matter. If I don't get his arm again, I'm going to come for the neck, and then he'll bring his arm in. But from here, I'll put the hand down and just cut a 45 degree angle, on, and then I'm going to grab the back of his arm and I'm going to pull it in. Shoulder goes straight to the mat, and all I'm doing is putting that shoulder on the mat. His leg comes up because of the angle in my leg, and I roll him straight and mount, get as high as I can. Chances are, as you go for it, the first thing he's going to try and do there is flatten his base. Okay, so as he, if he flattens his base, he toes, in this case, the right foot going to the mat. Okay, exactly the same hook sweep, but this is what it looks like without head. So from here, your hook sweep is to there. If he starts to flatten his base, toes into the mat, and I'm going to hop around until I take him over. Okay, so one more time. So I'm fighting away, I get a single overhook on his upper arm, grab his collar. If it's no gain, back the hand, push tight into him the whole time. Cut an angle, pull his arm in, and I'm going to put that shoulder on the mat. Again, what you don't want to do is load him backwards like that. If you load him backwards, first of all, he's going to bring his leg up. I can still defeat that, but he's going to bring his leg up. And I'm going to turn it into a strength move. Okay, I don't want to load his weight at all. I say 45 degrees to him, and then I take the shortest route of putting my shoulder on the mat. That brings his leg off the floor. From that point, it's just a case of following them over. 